All right, what's up everybody? Take a ride with me. Today we're riding in old North Charleston, going towards downtown Charleston. If you haven't ever been here before, well, today's the day. So stay with us. Look at this guy, won't even get his butt in the uh, median there. He just wants to stick his big old truck out so everybody can, uh, you know, be worried about rear ending. Anyways, so yeah, Charleston, South Carolina, right? They call it the low country. They also call it the holy city. And they also call it a port city because yeah, there's a lot of ports here. Now the part we're entering right now, this is Rivers, well this is actually, yeah, this is Rivers Avenue. And this is probably, this is farther down Rivers Avenue. And one reason I make this video is there's probably a lot of people that used to live in Charleston at one point or another in their life, or maybe they grew up here and they moved away. And maybe they would just like to see a video of what it looks like in 2021. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. There's the old Naval Hospital. At one point or another, I think the Trump family or the son of Donald Trump was actually looking at possibly buying that building. And turning it into some type of uh, resort. Yeah, right. But anyways, that never panned out. They just got done. Well, they're not done, but they're still working on this right here. I think this is going to be some type of, uh, you know, some kind of county or state building or something like that. Um, another thing that's always interesting when you're in North Charleston, in this part of the town, uh, lots of noises. That's why I got the windows down for you today while we're cruising, so you can hear all the sounds of, well, first, me talking, and secondly, all the sounds of the big trucks and the horns and the cars and all that. It just gives you that old Detroit type of feel, if you know what I mean. But anyways, old Charleston feel. I don't know why I said old Detroit feel. I think I was watching 8 Mile last night, so I got that on my mind. But anyways, I'm gonna quit talking for a minute and let you enjoy all the sights. McMillan. anybody hasn't really bought that property though it's such a big piece of land and actually a really beautiful piece of land with those oak trees and, and all that you know i don't know why anybody hasn't purchased it yet somebody will get it one day the old library there if you remember that that's going bye-bye yeah they're actually uh actually doing away with the old library it's uh i mean you're, you're seeing right now the actual uh the, the, the brick and all but there's nothing inside I don't know though, it looks like they might actually be doing something with the building. Well, that's interesting to see. Maybe they'll keep the library building and just remodel it on the inside and put a new library there. That library's been there since I was a child. Um, also, when I was a kid, right up in this area here, um, where that building's at, I believe there used to be a Krispy Kreme Donuts back in the 80s and 90s. My dad used to take me there, and my favorite thing to have at Krispy Kreme on old North Charleston Rivers Avenue by Cosgrove Avenue is uh, I would have a cake donut and a Coca-Cola in the bottle that was back in the probably late 80s that my dad would we lived over in west ashley which is over that way and you'd come over this college grove bridge here and uh yeah the crispy cream was there my dad was an insurance salesman and uh I, I i come to find out you know back then maybe i guess insurance salesmen they spent a lot of time in coffee shops and donut shops and they would chit chat with people and uh sell insurance and uh, for quite a while there i think that worked out pretty well for my dad being in coffee shops and selling insurance. And I'll tell you, my dad, even to up until maybe even 2005, 6, 7, 2008. So going from the 80s when I was born to the late 2000s. My dad still continued to hang out at coffee shops, believe it or not. Um, when my mom passed away back in back in the day, um, she, he would he'd hang out at the coffee shop, the donut shop. More of those good old sounds of uh, North Charleston. Um, this is a school over here to the left. I think it's called maybe Zuckerberg or something. Anyways, that wasn't there back in the day, that school. The military magnet is down that way. Some of y'all might have went to school there. So it's right, right there, actually, the military magnet school. Anyways, a lot of this part of North Charleston has kind of stayed the same, but you may see some upgrades on some buildings and some new graffiti and all that kind of stuff. We're just going to keep on rolling. Come on, iPhone, get in focus. There we go. Now you can see, you can see off in the distance out there, the, uh, well, they used to be the Cooper River Bridges back in the day. They got rid of them and blew them up. And now they are the Ravenel Bridges, which are really beautiful bridges. Those Cooper River Bridges were nice too, though. Dunkin' Donuts. My dad even spent time at the 
Dunkin' Donuts um, in the late 2000s. Anyway, our video's about to end here in probably about two minutes or so. Because we're getting to our location where to drive at. I can't tour you all over Charleston. But um, I thought it'd be interesting to let some of y'all see this part of Charleston that not a lot of people ever really see or talk about all that much. Which to me is kind of a unique part of Charleston. It's the, you know, it's the back roads of downtown areas and the outskirts where all the, uh, you know, the trains go through. And it's just, anyways, it's the older part of Charleston, which is still kind of historic. It is historic. A lot of the buildings and things out this way are, have been here for uh, a lot longer than I've been here. They definitely have, uh, Charleston definitely has grown a lot over the years. And uh, they've cleaned it up a lot in these areas. Like that building over there, doesn't that look kind of cool? Pacific Box and uh, there's all kinds of places around here. There's a stoplight. There's a fire station right there on the uh, right. Yeah, thanks for honking the horn. All right, buddy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you all on the next video. All right, it's 2021, July 2021, the last day of the month, and here is this is the old military magnet school over here. If you can see it. The Military Magnet Academy. That's it, really. Just a quick pass by. All right, the area we're in right now, look at that. That looks kind of cool. This is Old North Charleston right here. This is Rivers Avenue. The Naval Hospital is right there. That Naval Hospital has been there for probably 40 plus years. Uh, it was there when I was a kid, and I'm 40 years old now. But um, a lot has changed. You know, the Carter bus station's right there, all the people out there waiting on the bus. You got a South State Bank on the corner. And uh, yeah, a lot has changed in North Charleston. And they're actually, they're, they're building in this area here. And they're, you know, from what it looks like, they're, uh, they're kind of building things up, bringing more growth to the uh, economy of old North Charleston right here. That used to be the library right there. And uh, yeah, it's not a library anymore, but it used to be. And then now at the, uh, I think this might be the new DHEC building, something like that. But Charleston has definitely changed a whole lot um, over the past few years. But I'd say the last year or so, man, just, or the last five years has been uh, a, a huge difference in uh, growth in this part of town in North Charleston. Anyways.